Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain how spike control policy works and I will demo how we can add the spike control policy to the API in API Manager. A spike control policy works based on sliding window algorithm. That means we need to specify the time window. We need to configure what is a time window and we also need to configure how many requests can be processed within that time window. So once that quota is reached, the request start getting queuing. So we specify how many requests can be queued. Each queued request need a thread and retains the HTTP connection. So this is expensive process. So we specify the queuing limit. We need to specify how many requests can be queued. Once the queue limit reach, requests start getting rejected. For demo, I will move to the endpoint platform now. So I have logged into the endpoint platform. I will go to the exchange. Here I have designed the order API in design center and I published in exchange. So this is a published order API in exchange. I will show you the endpoints. It have endpoints under slash order and slash order slash ID. I have implemented this API in any point of studio and I deployed the implemented application in runtime manager. So let me go to the runtime manager. So this is a implemented mule application. This is the domain name. Let me go to the API manager now. I have added the order API in API manager and I have paired this order API with the implemented application that I showed you in runtime manager. For pairing the API with the implemented application, I use the auto discovery approach. Let me go to the API detail. I will go to the policies. Right now there is no policy configured to this API. So I will invoke the API from the postman. I will go to the runtime manager. And I will copy the domain name. I will go to the postman. HTTP colon slash 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 API slash orders. This is the endpoint. I am going to invoke this endpoint. So click send button. We can invoke this API freely. There is no spike control policy applied here. So we can invoke it as much time we want. There is no error. There is no limit in invoking API. Now I will go to API manager and I will impose the limit using spike control. Go to API manager. Go to API detail, click policies. I will select spike control, click next. Here how many requests we can process within a time window. So I will say one request. Default is fine. 
time period i will assign 5000 millisecond delay time in millisecond i will give the time 3000 millisecond delay attempts 1 it means if there is no quota available it will attempt the request only one time queuing limit i will assign one that means only one request can be queued once there is no quota available expose header i will expose the header so we can see that how, what is the quota remaining and how much used and how much time remain to reset the time window in advanced option we can set this policy can be applied to all methods or we want to apply to selected methods so i will apply to the all methods here so these are our configuration number of request one time period 5000 that means sliding time window is 5000 delay time in the millisecond 3000 this means how much time this request will wait before uh, it will be retried delay attempts how many time it will attempt if there is no quota available and how many requests can be queued this we specify in the queuing limit so i will click the apply button this policy has been added so we have added a spike control policy to the api now i will go to the postman and i will test it so i will send the request we got the result i will send it again we got the result so in one sliding window only one request can be fulfilled it will reach the back end and response will be displayed and uh, our time window is 5000 millisecond so if we send two requests in 5000 second then first request will be fulfilled second request will be queued and it will wait for the refresh of the time window and this queued request will be retried after 3000 millisecond if after 3000 millisecond time window refresh then the request will be processed if it does not refresh then the request will be rejected and you will get the error so let me try again send and send again so it's waiting because the time window did not refresh within 3000 millisecond so request got rejected and we got the error 429 too many requests and we got the error description quota has been exceeded now i will try again this is the first request and send again so now request is waiting and we got the result because after waiting once the it retried after 3000 millisecond it found that time window refreshed and that's how the request is processed it went to backend and got the result so let me show you again this first request second request we got the result because time window refreshed now i will try quickly so this is first the second and it's waiting and will retry after 3000 millisecond it found that time window did not refresh so it got failed so this is how we can add the spike control policy to the api and we can control the traffic i hope you understood how the spec control policy works and how we can configure to the api in the api manager
If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.